This is Lenny the larva. Say hi, Lenny. Lenny is a lightning bug larva, which means one day when he grows up, he'll be an adult lightning bug. But he doesn't want to be just any lightning bug. He wants to be just like his hero, Louis the lightning bug. You don't know about Louis the lightning bug? Lenny, get up. You've got to help me tell our friends about Louis the lightning bug. Great idea, but you've got the wrong ball. That's better and more efficient. You see, Louis is a big deal to lightning bugs. He may even be the most famous of all the lightning bugs. Plus, unlike other lightning bugs, he talks and sings. Not quite like that, Lenny. Louis talks and sings all about electricity and electrical safety. When Lenny learns all about electricity and safety himself, He'll learn his glow. What's a glow, you ask? Well, it's what lightning bugs get when they know about electricity. Their glow is a reminder to all of us to be safe around electricity. Every time you see the glow of a lightning bug, think about electrical safety. Lenny's trying to earn his glow. One day, when Lenny's a big, strong lightning bug, he'll be able to help spread Louie's message about electricity too. Let's help Lenny earn his glow. First off, he needs to know what electricity is. Well, there you go. Lightning is electricity. It's a natural electrical charge. But you know the kind of electricity we use every day? The kind that turns on the lights, TV, computer, that kind of electricity. We make it just like Louis talks about in this film. Oh, and hey, see if you can spot something different about Louis from this old classic. Now, if you're in the dark, our lights turn on. Little Louie's gonna tell you in this little old song. So listen up close and you will see just how we make electricity. Here we have your dams where the waters flow and your power plants that burn the coal. We split the atoms and now you've learned three ways we make the generator turn. And that, my friends, is what makes electricity. Now we have the power moving down the line. Gonna make it to your town right on time. Turn on the lights at the movie show or the building where the workers go, but the most common way you use power is to turn on the light, flick on the switch, pull out the knob and tune in the hit. Friends and neighbors, that is called electricity. Did you notice Louis' light bulb looked different in the film than it does now? The first light bulbs were incandescent. Over the years, advances in technology have given us more efficient bulbs, like the swirly compact fluorescent. And now, more efficient LED bulbs are becoming popular. Who knows what they'll look like years from now? Wow, that was a lot of information. Okay, so in the film, Louis talked about hydroelectric, coal, and nuclear. Got those, Lenny? But wait. There are even more ways to make power. First off, there's wind. Whoa! And solar power, which is the power of the sun. Don't get sunburned, Lenny. And there's natural gas, deep down in the ground. Don't go down too far, Lenny. Okay, let's review. Solar collects energy from the sun on large panels and converts it. With coal, nuclear, and natural gas, water is heated to create steam to turn turbines. Water, wind, and geothermal energy can also turn the turbines. Turbines are like giant fans that spin magnets inside a coil of wire, which is called a generator. When all that happens, an electric charge is created, and voila! Electricity. Pretty interesting, huh? Think you know it all? Hmm. Sorry, Lenny. You haven't earned your glow yet. Oh, cheer up. We haven't reached the most important part of the lesson yet. Electricity is an amazing product that powers countless things and improves our daily lives. But it must be treated with respect. That's right, Lenny. Good boy. Safety first. There are very important safety rules to follow regarding electricity. Hard hat, huh? Good going. 
Only when you know all of Louis' rules for safety around electricity will you be ready to glow. Before electricity gets to your house, it must travel from the power plant, through transmission lines to substations and transformers. It's very important to obey the signs of safety around places with a lot of electricity. Here's Louie's advice. Watch out! When the sign says danger, the sign means scram. And those high voltage signs mean move on. Move on, man! When the sign says keep out, you gotta keep on keeping on. And the sign that says warning says it's time to get along. Yeah, you gotta Lenny, from up here you'll have a great view of how electricity gets from substations to your house by power lines. Some power lines are underground, while others we see are overhead. You picked a good tree to climb because you chose one far away from power lines. You know where Lenny learned that? Hi, Louie the Lightning Bug here. Now us lightning bugs are experts, see, on safety and electricity. And one thing for sure, and I ought to know, you never fly your kites where power lines go. You never fly your kites where power lines go. Now, if you're looking for a tree to climb, you never climb trees near power lines. You never climb trees near power lines. Play it smart, little buddy. You gotta play it safe around the power lines. You gotta. Okay, Lenny, get back to the house so we can learn about safety in the home. Ready to go? All right, but watch out for obstacles along the way. Hurry, Lenny. Whoa, down power line. That's right, Lenny. Down power lines are dangerous. Not all down power lines spark, and you can't tell if a power line is active just by looking at it. Now think, what would Louie do? Power lines have the blues cause they're feeling down. We got the blues cause we're feeling down. So when the lines are down, don't you hang around. When we're down, don't hang around. Sing it, Lily. When lines are down, don't you hang around. When lines are down, don't you hang around. When lines are down, don't you hang around. Glad you made it home safely, Lenny. There's no time for relaxing, though. We have to finish our talk about safety. Electricity enters buildings or your home from a service drop. A meter measures how much electricity is coming into the building. And the electricity is then distributed to the different outlets in your house for you to plug things into. Speaking of plugs, what's the best way to unplug a cord? Hmm. Maybe you should remember what Louis says about cords. Maestro, give me a cord. Now, safety rules can be cool if you know what you're looking for. So when I unplug, this lightning bug would never pull the cord. When wires are frayed, I get away and head on down the road. Cause I change the scene if you know what I mean and lighten this heavy load. You got to be cool with cords, my friend. You got to be cool with cords. If you ask me, you got to be. You got to be cool with cords. Yeah. yeah. There's more that we need to cover here in the home, but time is running out. What other things do we need to be mindful of around the home? No, Lenny, you can't phone a friend. Need a hint? That rings a bell, huh? Welcome to Louie. Now around home, it's clear to me you got to play it safe around electricity. Now keys go here and fingers go here. But smart little buddies know they don't go here. So they'll only bug so here. If there's one thing I know about radios and dryers, you never use them around baths or showers. I get the idea. You gotta play it safe around electricity. You got to play it safe around electricity. Yeah, yes, you got to play it safe around Well, congratulations, Lenny and all you little larvae. We've covered Louie's lessons about electricity and safety. You are all well on your way to growing up to be like Louie. What's the matter, Lenny? Well, we forgot one very important thing. 
Louis Electrical Safety Pledge. Everyone, let's say it together. I pledge to observe and teach my family and friends the following electrical safety rules. Stay away from power lines. Report down power lines to police or an adult. And keep people away from the line until help arrives. Don't climb trees near power lines. Never raise ladders near power lines. Keep balloons and kites away from power lines. Never go near substations. Keep electronics and hair dryers away from baths and showers. Keep fingers and objects away from electrical outlets. Unplug cords by pulling on the plug. Never pull the cord. Never overload outlets with too many plugs. Do not use appliances with frayed or taped cords. And always remember, you've got to obey what those signs say. See? There you go! Congratulations, Lenny! You're well on your way now! You even sprouted your wings! You've got the knowledge! Just keep Louie's rules in mind, and before you know it, you'll be a full-grown lightning bug and can help spread the word about electrical safety. Good luck! And remember to tell them Louie sent you. Bye-bye.